Hi there, this is Phil with Phil FX, and uh, got a brand new tutorial here using Tune Boom Harmony. We're teaching this at uh, school here, and uh, the first assignment, uh, almost all of the students uh, had some difficulty with understanding what you need to do to relocate the origin or the center of rotation for an object. So I just want to make a quick tutorial here and just cover that uh, specific topic. So let's get started here. I'm going to go in and just uh, create myself a simple circle here and uh, we can give it some color inside. And so I've got this circle and we're going to want to animate this. So the way we animate it, we turn this on and I can take this and move around. But notice right here in the center, this is the center of rotation. This is the origin for this element. So if I grab it like this and you move it, you can see that it's rotating around the center of the page. And uh, you might be first inclined to think, well, I can go in here and that's fine. I'll just go over here and I'll just grab this and I can grab it. And so I'll put it right there and that solved my problem. All right, we're done. So let's go ahead and we'll start animating. And I'll come back here and grab it again and boom, no, you didn't move it. All right. And uh, what you have to do is you want to move this origin so the center of uh, so the origin is in the geometric center of whatever the shape is because you want to be able to rotate around its center not out here so the way you do that is you want to uh, go up to windows and you want to make sure that you have the advanced animation toolbar enabled and I think pretty much everybody does and the tools are set so that comes up uh, initially but if it's not you want to select that and check that and this is that toolbar right here and there are two tools that we can use to uh, relocate this origin and put it in the correct place the first one is the translate command right up here and when I click on that it grabs the origin and I can take this and I can just physically move it right to my center and now when I get here and I click back Notice we've selected it and the origin has in fact moved. And I can rotate this and now we're rotating about the geometric center. Uh, let me undo that and show you the other way to do it. The other way to do it is to go over here and we can select this. And we use the uh, rotate layer and I can select that and it'll do the same thing and I can grab this. And bring this over this is actually a little bit nicer especially with a circle because i have this larger outside circle and i can center it a little bit more uh, unfortunately there isn't a tool that at least i've been able to find where you can uh, automatically snap to the geometric center but you can get very very close and if you uh, really need to get in there you can zoom in and uh, for all us new users for zooming in you hit the number two and that will uh, allow you to zoom in. You use the number one on your keyboard and that will allow you to zoom out. So zooming in, I can even get this just a little bit better, a little more accurate. And uh, so we've got that located. Now I can go in and I can animate this and I've properly relocated the origin for my object in, uh, uh, in its geometric center. So when you create geometries on different layers, regardless of if you've got 20 layers, you've got 20 objects, one of the first things you want to do before you animate uh, is absolutely you want to go in and you want to take the origin and put it in your geometric center. And more than likely, it's not right off the bat. Because if you don't do that, when you do create an animation, your object is not going to follow the path. It's going to be off the path. So. Once again, you want to be sure and take that origin, put it in the geometric center. Okay, this has been Phil with Phil Effects. Thanks a lot.